Junk Guys DFW, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm gonna do these videos really, really fast. I have fence panels, $400 worth of fence panels. These are all of them, they're right there. And I'm gonna load them. So my F550 right here, I got the F550 16 yard <coughs> enclosed trailer. <coughs> Something just fell in my mouth. So I'm gonna knock these out, I'm gonna pick them up. This is the first job of many, many jobs today. So on the schedule, I'll have nine jobs. It is one o'clock, 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And this is the first one. I'm so backed up today. Uh, no problems with the trucks, just listen, it's just a long day. Okay, so you're gonna see me knock these jobs out. I'm gonna load them really quick and I'll talk to you in a few minutes. This is job number one. Here comes the time lapse. Big fence. Whoa, whoa, look at him. Wow. Okay. This this pile right here. This is it, right here. Just this and that. Yeah, no, honey, don't worry about that. Alright, I'll get it done in a few minutes, okay? Just give me some time. <laughs> Boss, how we doing? Oh, good. That's just taking me an hour and a half to walk all the way around. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I got you. What do we got here? This couch, those two chairs. You have a bad case of bed bugs, sir. I sure do. That's the, the couch, and those two chairs. Couch, and these two chairs. What else? And the, and the mattress, mattress only, not the box frame. And this bed frame. Okay. Shit. Well, wow, you have a really bad case. Oh yeah, well it's, it's not only that, there's evidence from it's back before. Oh no. So anyway. So the couch, set, chair, okay. I'm gonna get my trailer ready, okay? Okay. I gotta make the room for it. When it's bed bugs, I gotta get ready for this, okay? Okay. All right, let me, let me get it ready. All right, it's a bad case of bed bugs. Horrible bad bed case. Oh my God. This is job number three. This is a $350 job. Uh, usually it would be, listen, this guy is a family member of an apartment and blah, 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 blah. I'm helping him out, so. But I am charging him a lot. I feel kind of bad about this. He's an older man, if you notice that. Right, I'm just gonna knock this out. Uh, let's finish through job number three. You'll see how much, here we go. how much I have today but this job I'm so sorry for this guy let me put up my phone fuck this door it's one of those jobs where I get frustrated where I like I want to quit and go join the army and shit like that you know I'm a mess I'm going to job number four right now we have nine jobs we're doing today so I'm on number four I'm going to right now I'll see you later 350 for this one it was bad bye the last job 
of the day. And I'm hoping just to knock this out and get the fuck out of here. Last job of the day. Last job of the day, so you're doing better than early this morning, right? <laughs> Don't even talk to me right now, bruh. Don't even talk to me, bruh. Last How job of the you day. How early man? Huh? How early you get started? <laughs> this morning, actually, uh... It was like at 8.30, man. Okay. Now, this has just been one of those days, you yeah. know. I've done... We're working on nine jobs today. No. This is the last job of the day. <laughs> And it's not something I want to do, but he's close by, owner of the house. So show us what you got, boss. Yeah. So tell me, uh, how many times did you use those chairs? Oh man, it, yeah, uh, practically lost count. It's about 10, 12 years old. Tw 10 or 12 years old. Yeah. And in yeah. those 10 or 12 years of using those chairs, did you do anything unnecessary? Unnecessary? What you mean, like climbing up on top, changing light bulbs and all that? Yeah, stuff? yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Or yeah. propping them up at different angles, you know, you with, uh, you Leaning know. Leaning back, kicking up. Yeah, yeah, all, sure, you know. Or with all, the, all the things that pretty much the safety guy says not to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's go look at the sofa. Well, we got this stuff. What all else right, we got? I'm gonna go around the back. Okay. Here. Is there anything else other than there? Uh, against the wall here, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I saw that picture. Yeah, that's the top of the so Let's over-examine this. This is over-examining junk removal today. Because <laughs> you're my last stop. So what do we got here, boss? Uh, so this is just some empty packaging from uh, something else that came Now, in. if you ever remove drugs for the cartel, would it be <laughs> feasible to say that you put it in that box? <laughs> let's go look at the couch now. All right, that sounds good. Hey, right, he's being a good sport today. My last job. You know, I do love this. Hey, brother, I do love this. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, yeah? Oh, hell yeah. This is like your backyard. Yeah, yeah. No, this is cool. Yeah, I got some spiders over here. Yeah, so the, the, the neighbors give you a hard time. Some snakes and rabbits. Yeah, I bet rabbits all day, right? There's a lot of rabbits in this area. Yeah. So tell me about your pool you got here. Oh, man, I gotta get some drainage in this area. You know what it is, right, bro? The hill. Yeah, you're not gonna do anything. There, so that'll be next on the agenda to get taken care of. So yeah, this is a love seat. This let's talk of... about the love seat, man. Okay. Let's over examine this one too. Oh, right. It's over examine right. day, the last job of the day. Let's talk about the things you did on this couch, going back and forth. Spills, changing diapers, all that good stuff. Dude, diapers were changed on this. <laughs> <laughs> How long you had this bad boy? Uh, Years. Jesus Christ, you ever yeah. buy new furniture, man? Yeah, right hey, man. Just... You got a new house, so you got new furniture, right? Hey, that, yeah. So this was like, you don't have you don't have a dog, because I don't notice any Not yet. heat trails or anything. Right now. Fans and subs, subs and bubs. I have one mattress to go. I mean, no, one sofa. And it's the one in the back. Uh, we're gonna drag that back. Thumbs up, five star. Five stars all the way. I'm not good on video, man. <laughs> I'm kidding with you, man. I always do that to customers. I put them on the front. <laughs> Guys, we finish. I'm done. Okay, so have another job in Fort Worth in the morning. Let's go in the back of the truck. Now, you did notice the recycling. That recycling, I'm gonna put it in the front yard because Martin is gonna come by in the morning and pick it up. 
my recycler. He doesn't care. Also, this gentleman also had some pots and pans and well, just one pot. I'm gonna put all that stuff in the morning for my recycler to give it. That way it gives me more room. And I'm gonna take out a few things out of the truck also. All right, guys, what's up? It's Ricardo, Junk Guys DFW. I am done. I'm done for the day. I did sweat out of my shirt, my Junk Guy shirt today. Plenty of jobs on the schedule. I did about nine jobs today, eight or nine jobs, I'm not sure. Junk Guys, there it is. I think there's a lot of misconception that you need a lot of employees and a lot of trucks and trailers to do this job. I did it with one truck, my FI-50 bed, and my trailer, my 16-foot trailer. So let's just go over all the jobs that we did because I did record them. You know, there's going to be a lot of people that say they do jobs, but then actually don't do them. So uh, the first job was actually the church job, which was a job that TNT Junk Removal did for me today. It was in uh, White Settlement, Texas, and it was worth $1,500. So I paid him um, 700, uh, 800 bucks, and I took home 700. So that was that was kind of the deal that I had with him. So uh, he took home 800. I'm gonna pay him tomorrow 800, and then I took home 700 bucks. So right off the bat, I'm at 700 dollars for the day. Uh, I subcontracted, of course, TNT to do the job. Uh, my second job was a job that I did in. Well, it was actually the first job that I actually did. And that was the job that I had done at the church. And those were all the pallets where my mother came up there and started helping me out. She lived right down the street. So that was a $400 job. And again, another job that I actually did record and you saw it again. So that was the first job of the day uh, that I really got to. And I put all that stuff in the back of the trailer. So 400 bucks, not so bad. And I did get a check for that. So I'm happy about that. Uh, my second job was actually in North Richland Hills. It was at 3548 Garwood Drive. And that job was a couch, uh, love seat, two outdoor. It wasn't a lot of stuff. I charged them 175, um, 175 bucks, which wasn't that bad. Uh, so, so far I was at $1,275. I'm adding everything up, by the way. Um, and that was a really easy job. I enjoyed that job because it was just easy. It was really basically easy. I just went in there. Uh, I removed everything, hauled it, put it in the back of the uh, trailer, and then I was gone. So that was an easy job for me. Uh, the next job after that was, <coughs> oh, sorry. The next job after that was the job in Arlington that had bed bugs. Oh my gosh, and that was a really bad, bad job. It was off of Copper Chase Road in Arlington. Uh, that job I charged $350 for, and that was a really, um, it was a sad job, because man, the guy really needed a lot of, you know, a lot of help. He, he just needs someone to guide him and someone to help him out with this you know he's living in really bad poor condition so um and i made a thousand six hundred and twenty five dollars um so far so that was a 350 fifty dollar job but my day was not over uh i continued to go in the north of fort worth into saginaw area and i just completed the last job where the uh the gentleman the black gentleman was really cool uh he had just moved into a house he was lived in my neighborhood right down the street from me and moved into a, a new uh house and he called me out so that job was 150 bucks so i had 150 dollars to it it was just a small garage clean out and a sofa in the backyard now uh so far i have 1775 dollars but we didn't end the job there guys because i want to talk about something else that we had so i couldn't complete two other jobs today uh one was in alito uh that was 125 dollars and i think i'm going to put a little in the edit so here is the 125 dollar job right here um that was a small just garbage on the side of the garage and stuff like that so i got some pictures of that and i sent tnt junk removal to do that job and help me out with that job okay so so far it was 1900 dollars that i've made today but it did not end there because i actually tnt did two jobs for me he did the church job and the 125 garage job in Alito, Texas, but that wasn't the last job. I could not get it to another job that was in Mansfield, Texas, and it was only $175. So I add 175 to it, and Matt Thrasher, uh, the owner of Eagle Mountain Junk Removal, completed that job for me, and I ended the day with $2,075. I don't know if you can see that. I don't even know. Um, so it was $2,075. Matt Thrasher helped me out, do a job and complete it out there, and then I'll give him his cut. I'll give him TNT his cut. Um, so in total, the whole day was a very busy day today. It was Monday, so I did uh, one, uh, two, three, 
uh, four, five, uh, six, uh, seven, eight jobs today. I completed eight jobs and I only did four of them. So that wasn't that bad. Now the only job that's not on the schedule is the last job that I did, which is kind of weird. I don't know where it's at. All right, so a lot of people out there are saying that it's really slow right now, but I, I don't see that. I, I want to show you something really fast. This is my schedule for tomorrow, um, and it's Tuesday the 3rd. Um, if you can see that, it says Tuesday the 3rd, and, and as I pan down, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more jobs tomorrow, and I'm going to complete them with one truck. So it's going to be me and my truck and my trailer tomorrow and i'll complete them again but i'm going to take another truck and trailer the one that's not full um you know i don't think you need employees to do this work uh and i want to be really frank with you on that okay you know what i mean i want to be able to elaborate and tell y'all that it's not all about being sitting at home and answering the phones and doing these youtube videos it's actually about having to go out there and work and do these jobs too because if you want to make profit um I'm gonna make another video of how to make profit and I really want to concentrate on that video tonight so I might go live in a few minutes to do that video but overall guys it's just about being able to expand you know really concentrate on your expenses or anything hey Martin see you later buddy uh, by the way Martin's here I had some recycle in the back of the truck and I called Martin check him out dude this guy is a stud he always comes to get my recycling so I had some recycling in the back of this truck and he's been working this whole time while I was doing this video really great guy every time I got recycling he just comes and picks it up I don't you know he doesn't pay me I don't charge him anything I mean it's free uh, but it gives me ability to put a hot tub in the back of this truck before I go to my next job in the morning I have eight jobs uh, in the morning tomorrow and I had eight jobs today uh, 16 jobs in two days two thousand dollars today a little over two thousand dollars today and then tomorrow I'll probably break that record too so I have no idea I don't even think it's a record but I, you know I want to be able to tell y'all that junk removal is not slowing down, guys. Um, yeah, last week, I think I was Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I made more money selling things, recycling things than I did in junk removal, which was pretty funny. But every one of those days were like four or five hundred dollar days. And I'm happy with that. So today I made two thousand dollars. It ain't gonna change my lifestyle. I'll tell you honestly that. It's not gonna change the things that I do, okay? Now I wanna uh, post this video today and show y'all that you can do it with a truck and a trailer by yourself and do this many jobs because I do it all the time. Don't forget guys, uh, I'm gonna end this video. Junk Con 2022 is this year on October the 12th, 13th and 14th. And you'll see the promo video right after I do this. It's a pre-recorded video that I did, but you gotta make it there. I'm gonna be uh, one of the speakers there. I'm gonna talk about expenses and I'm gonna do a video about expenses, pretty sure, um, pretty soon. Pretty sure, pretty soon. I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Don't forget, if you like these videos, subscribe over there to the right side. On the left side, check out my other videos. And if you want to order Junk Con tickets, description below, there's a link. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, thanks for watching that video. And don't forget to sign up for Junk Con 2022 in Raleigh, North Carolina, in downtown Raleigh, North Carolina, as a matter of fact, on October the 12th to the 14th, the premier networking event that you can learn from some of the smartest people in junk removal. I'm going to tell you, you don't want to miss out. This is Networking Convention Center, over 40,000 square feet of pure junk removal owners and people getting together to educate, motivate, and network, and you want to be a part of it. So look below in the description. There is a link. It's my link, guys. Go up and sign up. There's an early bird special, and there are still tickets. So early bird special are $395, and if you want to get just pay late, then you're paying an extra 100 bucks because $495. But meet me at my marketing booth at this exhibit hall. Guys, you're going to love it. This is a place that you want to go. If you want to transform the future of your business and make it and grow, this is the place to go.